once told Chino that I came out here to see a friend at a veterans hospital, an old Black Panther who was an OG of mine. And Chino said, holy shit. We went out to East Orange, New Jersey. He said, what was it like out there? I haven't been out there in a little while. And I told him that I saw a barrel with fire in it and people singing around it. And he started laughing and we would make jokes about how we would remember our old neighborhood, not the way it is now, but the way it was in the 80s. And we would share stories about what Jersey was like in the 80s and what Harlem was like in the 80s. And while everybody knows him for being one of the greatest lyricists of all time, he was one of the greatest friends of all time, one of the greatest humans of all time. If you came to him with a problem, it, it was like he wasn't concerned with himself anymore. And sometimes we would talk about that. And we would, he, he would tell me, technique, you, you can only help people so much until you start hurting yourself. And I would say, well, you too, Chino, man. Like, we were in the same boat. And he, he made me laugh so much. He, he, he would always ask about my, my mother's cancer. Um, and every time he was like, how's she doing, man? What did she do to fight it? And he talked to my father about fatherhood. And, I used to play video games with him, secretly online. And we had all these different names. And one time, somebody, like, they was talking crazy. You know how little kids be out, oh, what, man, I'll mess with you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what's up, Temple Don? Why don't you come see me? I live over, and I, I hit the kid on the private message, like, yo, dude, I know that this is such a stereotypical thing to say, but you really don't want to see this person in public. Man. Like, he could bench press 500 pounds. Like, I'm not joking, I've been to the gym with him I, I've seen him put all the plates on it that made other people look nervous. Like, what is this man doing? And then lift it up like it was nothing, right? Five plates. Looking at me like, yeah. I've been with him in the good times. I've been with him in the bad times. But through all of it, his message was to inspire us. Like people said before, to, to be the best part of yourself. He wanted the best for everybody. The nature of friendships is that there's always ups and downs. You see people at their highest and you see people at their lowest. You see people at their most confident and their most vulnerable. And we got to see each other that way. I've been through crises in my life with him where I called him and I said, man, this person was killed or this thing happened and he was right there for me. And he would call me up and say, hey, this is going on. And I'd be on the phone with him until five o'clock in the morning. He loved to talk till the break of dawn, you know what I mean? He can be on the phone with you talking about anything. But the, the documentary that we just saw, the mini documentary was absolutely right. He was so intelligent that you could bring up any any topic, you know? My father's a physicist, right? And it, it, there's something called string theory. It's about different dimensions that are overlaid on top. Of, and Chino had a whole conversation with my father about physics and, and science. And, and I was looking at him like, when did you become a scientist or a physicist? And but, but he has such a wealth of knowledge about so many things. And more than just a wealth of knowledge about stuff in the universe, he had a wealth of emotional knowledge too. He could look into you if you were his real friend and he could tell if you was hurt. He could tell if you needed him to hug you, right? It was just hard because he always was everyone else's rock so he didn't always let everyone else know when he needed them to hug him because he wanted to be strong for everybody else. He was everybody's rock. And I told somebody the other day, I said, man, you know, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to do shows with him again. And they said, you'll be able to do shows with him all the time. He'll be on stage with you every day, every time you ever do a show. We'll always honor him forever. I said, I'll never be able to talk to him. They said, you can talk to him whenever you want. He's with God, so he's always listening. So whenever you pray, you know, tell him to say what's up to Archie, and Pumpkinhead, and Chino, and all the legends. He, he told me a lot about perseverance and a lot about longevity, something that artists really overlook. And a person that mastered that to have survived so many decades through the change of hip hop, from it being an art form that was brand new that nobody thought would last with, with, with turntables plugged into the street lights. He came from that to being on stages with me in front of 40,000 people all over the world, to be idolized by fans. Like I said before, toured with for 20 years, there was never a place, there was never a country we didn't go to where there wasn't somebody outside with a picture of him 
from years ago with a piece of merchandise, with a t-shirt. And yet, I just remember the brother that made me laugh and used to check on my mom. Told me, hey, congratulations, you got this, that. I always made this joke that he was a, and I keep repeating this, that he was an angel that was doing all this shit in life to try to get his wings back. And uh, I'm glad you got your wings back, my old friend. I just wish I could talk to you one last time, but I'm gonna speak to you all the time, I guess, and I, I'm gonna see you around, and I just wanted to let you know wherever you are that your family loves you and be very proud of them. You should be so proud of, you know, of your niece and your, your daughters and your family that all came together to, to send you off. And then you're missed by people around the world. And I think he would be, he'd be glad to know that he was missed and he was loved. And I don't know what happens after we die. I, but I know that wherever he is, he's not in pain. He's looking down on us, trying to guide us to do the right things. And I'm gonna do my best to open my ears more and listen. That's what he would have wanted. And I just wanna tell everybody here that I love y'all. Chino loved you. And that um, I hope that whatever you have as a constant in your life, right? Something that is always there, not that you take for granted on purpose. Something that's just always there. You just always used to having that thing there. That person, that thing, whatever it is, man. That, hold on to that thing. Hold on to that person. I love you guys. Thank you so much for doing this. God bless you.